Alright, sorry, you're gonna have to bear with me. We're working on the camera in here, but Vega from Serpent X Tech, we got past the 56 mega hash barrier. We're now at 58.41 because I was able to successfully flash a 6900 XT BIOS onto this ASRock OC formula. It's a dual BIOS switch, so I have plenty of uh, room just in case I messed up. Um, however, I have not done any tuning, as you can see from the memory clock and the core clock. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that now and see what we can get this thing to. Right now we're up to 62.6 mega hash. I applied a minor overclock. When I was doing 1200 originally, like where the card used to sit on the original BIOS, it did crash and green screen, but at least we're up to 62 mega hash. About where the 6900 XT could be. It just sucks that this 6950 XT refresh cannot go beyond what its original brother could do. Um, however, I'm not done tuning. I'm gonna try to see if I could push the memory up a little bit higher. We're gonna try 1100 mem now, and then maybe we could drop the core down a little bit more. But when I try going on the stock BIOS below 1400, like try 1300, 1250 core, it crashed as well. So let me keep testing. And that's a no. So 1100 mem brought the hash rate back down to 54. So uh, it's traditionally in Hive OS, the 6900 XT and some of the other generations will be around like 1050 mem. Um, I was able to push to 1080, but not with this particular card. So backing it down. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up for this video. Unfortunately, I was right at 63 mega hash and then I adjusted something and now I can't get above 6250 mega hash or 62.5. So we're just gonna end it there, basically back to a 6900 XT, which is the intent because I flashed a 6900 XT BIOS on it. The BIOS I actually use is right here, the second one, uh, which is available on Tech Power Up, ending in 210.317. I flashed that onto my uh, 6950 XT ASRock OC formula, and it's working. Um, I have the other BIOS that I'm probably gonna try as well. Uh, but for this video, that's pretty much it to flash it because I was having so many issues in windows I literally just used hive to do it So I rebooted the system on a USB drive and I was able to get the uh, GPU flash obviously by using force flash when I was trying to do force flash in windows It was giving me issues So if you got a dedicated system that you could put the GPU in you're willing to risk it uh, Especially if you don't have a dual bio switch or at least you have a backup way to recover the BIOS, uh, then you may wanna try this. If not, I would just leave it as is, hopefully AMD with driver optimizations and maybe uh, minor devs updating something, I'm not sure what in their miners. Maybe the 6950 XT can actually break past, uh, you know, the original car, the 6900 XT, but uh, it's basically the same. The exact same, wouldn't buy it. A lot of people aren't buying these cards for mining purposes. Uh, hence the reason why I make this content for you guys get on the grenade save you guys from wasting your money uh, But you're basically gonna get the same thing as the original series. So use hive to flash it if windows giving you trouble Use a dedicated system if you don't have a dual BIOS switch you're gonna need another GPU in that system to recover or integrated graphics and uh, You can restore it back to normal, but for now this is gonna be it on this video I'll do some more testing and adjustments what I'm thinking next is I can boot into Windows and use the more power tool to apply the 6900 XT, uh, you know, settings to the 6950 XT without flashing the BIOS. But that's a different video for a different day. So Real quick interruption, 63.54 mega hash is what I'm getting on Windows uh, at basically 2160 mem core 1300 voltage as low as possible of course with the more power tool we could probably save even more power on the voltage because right now we're at 0.838 volts or 838 millivolts but like i said more testing in the future so then i'll see you guys in the next one please do me a favor hit the like button on the way out make sure to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out links in the description that help support the content we make and the channel uh, and you all have a wonderful day take care Catch you later.